In this video, I will show you how to play PC VR games on your Oculus Quest 1 or 2 in 3 different ways. Oculus Link, Virtual Desktop, or ALVR, which is also free. Also, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people watching are actually subscribed. So, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Enjoy the video. If you want to skip ahead or choose a different method to use, or find the websites in the video, the links will be in the description below. The first step is to make sure you have a virtual reality ready PC. There are two ways to find out if your PC is VR ready. The easy method is to download the Steam VR Performance Test app from Steam and make sure you are either in the yellow, capable or preferably green ready areas. The other method is for people who understand computers. So the minimum specs include the GTX 1050 Ti or the Radeon RX 470 and an i3 6100 or the Ryzen 3 1200. The recommended specs include the GTX 1060 or Radeon RX 480 and an i5 4590 or Ryzen 5 1500X or greater. So what you will need is a PC VR ready computer or laptop an Oculus Quest 1 or 2 for all of those methods and for the Oculus Link method you will need a USB Type-C cable. The next step is to go into the link in the description and click the download on the Rift S software. After it is downloaded, install and sign in with your Oculus slash Facebook account. Then plug in your Oculus Quest using the USB cable. On the headset, it should have a pop-up that says allow oculus link. Click allow. If this doesn't pop up, go to settings where it has the volume settings and there should be a button on the right to allow link. The virtual desktop method requires you to download SideQuest and install the ADB drivers, buy a virtual desktop from the oculus quest store and install the patch from SideQuest. The best way to experience virtual desktop is to have a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection. To download SideQuest, go to sidequestvr.com and click Get SideQuest. After, click Download for your dedicated operating system and follow the setup instructions. Go to dashboard.oculus.com and sign in using your Facebook account and create an organization and accept the developer agreement. Then, go to the link in the description and download the ADB drivers. Right click the android underscore winusb.inf file and click install. Next, go to your Oculus phone app and click settings, Oculus Quest, more settings, developer settings, and make sure the slider is blue on developer mode. To make sure this works, restart your headset. Go to the link in the description and buy a virtual desktop. The price of virtual desktop in Australia costs $31, which is about 20 American dollars. Once you buy it, plug in your Oculus Quest using the USB-C cable into your computer and open SideQuest. Find Virtual Desktop VR Patch and click Install to the headset. After that's finished, launch Virtual Desktop and the Desktop Streamer from your PC and find your PC on the network. Once connected, you can launch Steam VR games from the Games tab, as it might not work if you launch it from the Steam or your desktop. There will be a slight delay and a bit of controller interpolation, but it helps with the delay. The final method is ALVR. This is a free PC VR streaming method. You will also need SideQuest, ADB drivers and developer mode which you will find in the virtual desktop method. Once done, plug in your Oculus Quest using the USB-C cable into your computer and click allow USB debugging. Go to the GitHub link in the description and download both the .apk file and the .zip file. 
Extract the zip file and bring the APK file to SideQuest under Installed Apps and drop to the top of the SideQuest. Open the ALVR app on your computer and add the firewall rule via the blue button. Register the ALVR driver and change the tracking speed. Go slow for slow paced games and go fast for high fast paced games like Beat Saber. Next, choose your performance preset. Jump into your quest and go to the apps and games page, unknown sources, find ALVR and open it. You will then see a white grid room and text on the screen. Go to your computer and click trust next to your Oculus Quest IP address. After, restart ALVR on your Quest and you should load into the Steam VR home. You can now launch games from Steam. Also, if you want to play Oculus Rift games, you will need a program called Revive. This emulates your Quest as a Rift on the Oculus platform. You will get this from the link in the description below and scroll down to the latest version. The most recent release from when this video was recorded was version 2.1.1. Download and install the program. Revive automatically detects your Oculus games and adds an icon to launch them from. You can now just launch your Rift games from here. Well that's it from me today. But please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and make sure to hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, that button is also there. But please let me know why you decided to click that so I can improve for the next video. Thanks and take care.